On Thursday, April 4th, the Pike County Fiscal Courthouse hosted their annual child abuse prevention ceremony. City officials, first responders, and educators attended to discuss the issue and how area residents can prevent it. Assistant Pike County Attorney Daryl Ronning tells us more about the event. Every person that was here today is important in protecting the lives of children. Um, again, it's not just one of our duties, but Protecting our children is one of the most important things any of us will do, whether you're an attorney, whether even your job, you know, it's important to get that information out there. We have phenomenal social workers that put their life in danger every day. They never know what they're going out, uh, what they're going to see when they go out to these houses. They don't always have a police officer to go with them. so. You know, that is um, an important job. Do you worry about having enough money to last throughout retirement? Give Reed Potter at Raymond James a call. Reed has 26 years experience helping folks enjoy their best life in their retirement years. One in seven children experience some kind of abuse during their childhood. It falls upon the community to remain vigilant and speak out against crimes of abuse. The city of Pikeville, the city police, uh, department is phenomenal in working with um, working with our office, the Pike County Attorney's Office, also working with our social workers, um, and with Judy's Place. Without them out investigating the cases, it makes our job so much easier. They are able to um, develop the case and bring us the information that we need to prosecute these cases. Child abuse is something people don't want to think about. It's something they don't want to talk about. Um, but the activities like the Kids Day in the Park, that does bring the awareness. It gets people out into the community and seeing the different resources that are available to people that can help our children and to keep them safe. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.